Can you move that thing there? Holy crap! What? Look! Good morning, everyone. So this morning, the Packers are all on the pool. We restarted the motor, so everybody's working. And the water's getting much cleaner, much more beautiful, more kind of blue baby Hawaii beach, which I've never been to, but I'm sure that's what it looks like. You go get your shoes, baby. Some are pulling the plant, some are removing the dirt. And then we're gonna do all around here and remove all the leaves. After we restarted the pool, we uh, everything was doing well. We were started vacuuming the pool and Mim came. I said, Mim, go see on the street what's coming out. She came back, she said, Dad, she said, you know the brick you saw the other day that we came out of the driveway? Well, it's leaking water now. I don't know if you guys can see here, but somewhere in there, the pipe has burst. The water is supposed to come out right here. But when we came down here, when I came down here earlier, this was totally clogged like this. So my feeling is that it might have burst the pipe because it was jammed over there. Water couldn't come out, too much pressure. And that one over there just exploded. That might be the reason why our pool was leaking. Maybe slowly the pool was leaking here on the ground, which is another situation. We're not 100% sure that it was leaking anymore. We ask people around, they say up to a hinge, it's normal day evaporation. So it might not even leak. So anyhow, I'm gonna change that little part. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're working on the pool. The pool's gonna work this summer. I don't know when, but there's a lot of little thing here and there we gotta fix. And you're with us, so thank God. It's a beautiful sunny day here, and we can't wait to swim in our pool, but this is hard. Pool, dude, they're hard. They're hard to, to manage, for real. Would duct tape work? I'm gonna go try to find that little part in the middle, see if I can get it somewhere, uh, replace it myself, plug it, and then we can finish the vacuum the pool, do the backwash and everything. Cause right now I can't, as soon as I start a backwash, start a, the rinse, anything, the whole thing comes out on the ground and it's not really good for the structure of the, of the of the ground. So good news, I was able to take it out. So I removed that pieces here. I guess it must have moved with times. I suppose so. I'm just gonna buy another one, a longer one than this, and I'm gonna plug it back and we should be good to go. Let's try that. the hardware store now and I just realized is that really the place to buy that I'm not even sure is that uh am I supposed to I, I suppose it's it's probably the place to buy this hardware store but it might be just I might have to go instead to a uh, pool kind of pool provider instead let's get in we'll see if they have it all right guys so apparently we're at the right place because I just asked an employee here and he told me it was a last section over here that's a good news see this small news like this always good oh look at that there we go. This is only three dollars. Wow. All right, now we just have to find a longer one than this. A little bit longer, not much, but it's not exactly the same. Oh gosh, when you don't know, guys, same size. I might need someone to help me with this. It looks like this is a standard size, and whatever I get here, it's always the same size of this, the same length. Oh, how about this? It's the same size, not helping us much. All right, I'm gonna have to ask somebody, and I'll get back to you a little bit later. All right, guys, I had some help, uh, help I got from an employee here. Unfortunately, whatever he came out with was not what we need, so it's not gonna work. He suggested that I might have to go to a pool place, so I'm gonna look around first, see if I don't come out with something creative. Otherwise, we're gonna have to head to the pool place. That might work, guys. If I put one on each end. All right, let's try that. I can screw it in like this, see? And it gets me longer. All right, let's try that, that worked. Then I'll put tape around it to make it a little thicker. All right, let's give it a shot with these three things. So like this, I won't have to go to the pool place and then wait another hour in line. I think that might hold enough, long enough. The only thing I was concerned about is like, how about if that little metal thing comes out eventually and go down the drain? Oh no, it's gonna end up on the street anyway. It's not a big deal. So that's perfect. Let's go with this. I think we're gonna have a solution here. 15 minutes later. If you know pool, if you know plumbing, if you know construction, you're probably making fun of me right now. And I just, okay, I'm okay with that. But I hope it's gonna work because I don't wanna wait another hour at the pool place. Okay, I got other things to do. Let's go home and try it. All right guys, so let's see if this is going to work. So now it's stuck in, right? I got one done. Put the other one in on the other side. All right, now I got my extension. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put the tape around the plastic thing, I think, to try to make it thicker. So I'm gonna go like this, get it? So like this, it's thicker. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here. Uh. Uh oh, do I need a hammer? I really don't want to. Get in there. Oh. All right. All right, so 
So now I'm too far in this one. All right, let's wait. I'm gonna restart it. It's a little bit of water, but not like before. See? Yeah, okay. over here. Nope. Oh, damn. Well, it's not like before. No, but it's not working. It's not gonna last, you know? Made it worse for today, but. Is this a permanent solution? No, it's not. I'm gonna have to go buy the proper things probably tomorrow or another day. But for today, at least we can keep going on the pool. We can keep fixing it and then clean and backwash it because we couldn't even backwash it. And that was a big problem. So at least we're gonna be able to backwash and we're gonna change it in the next few days. So I'm gonna leave it open. And it kind of work, kind of. I think duct tape would have done as well though, seriously. I'm still gonna look for a longer one or another solution, but for now it's working perfect, so we can at least do the backwash and keep going to pool. I'll leave you with Grace and Mim, and they're gonna show you what they did in the backyard while I was gone. All right, so me and Mimi were super sweaty, Mim. Let's look at what we did. Like you know, there is a lot to do in our backyard. Mimi actually pressure washed the whole surface around the pool, so place around the pool is nice to walk around. Well, I got rid of some more weeds, and I'm gonna fill it with some of that black stuff. Uh, whoops, I don't know what it's called, but it's gonna be pretty. Maybe I'll put some plants around the pool. We have like a little stone pathway, and for two years, it's been covered Sorry, in stone. grass. And now, we actually have stone tiles before it was covered like in dirt and weeds. So we're getting somewhere. All right, we'll check back with you later. All right guys, so new twist, new development. Can you guys tell us in the comments how many trick there is to know about a pool before it's ready to go? Because like, we never give up, good thing, but like this is horrible right now. That pool was blue half an hour ago, all right? So we put the shock treatment, everything is good. The pool is blue. I'm starting to clean the pool, I'm getting the leaf out. And turn out what I'm thinking now is that what I should have probably done before the shock treatment is clean the pool, but I didn't think about it, I didn't know. So I left all the leaf at the bottom, I put the shock treatment, the water became blue, it was baby blue beach Hawaii, which I've never been to, but I'm sure that's what it looks like. But then I didn't remove the leaf, so now I'm removing the leaf. Everything smells like swamp again, everything is back to brown again, everything looks horrible. We're back to square one, and now I cannot put another shock treatment in there. I've put two in two weeks, guys. The liner is gonna fall apart. How many things like this do we have to know before it ready? Before you're ready to swim, this is horrible. Look at this. It's brown poo. Okay, it looks like the it looks like the sewage from the city is coming into my pool right now. Maybe you could take out all the leaves, like the, as much as you can, and then you put the chloride or whatever, and then just let it sit, and then it's gonna become as normal, and you don't need a shock treatment. That's exactly what it is. I didn't know we had to vacuum before. We put the shock treatment. So we put the shock treatment, we let it become blue. Then we started cleaning the bottom. Then we realized that we should have done it the opposite way because now the shock treatment is obviously not gonna work. It's been 20 hours. It was starting to be blue, but it was really like, it was really murky. You couldn't see the bottom of the pool, but it was blue. Now it's brown swamp sewage from the city. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's horrible. Chris said, look at all these leaves I got. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot for uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she got four leaf in it. Now, the other question I have for you guys, if you, when I vacuum that pool, one hand goes into this here. Do I remove the basket or I leave the basket in there? Because as soon as I start sucking up the bottom of the pool, that basket gets filled up like, damn, just like that. So I have to go back over there, turn off the thing, put it back in. So it's kind of annoying. I don't know these things. Should I leave the basket in there? Yes or no? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh yeah, that broke too, but I fixed it. I put some good old tape, so we're good. I because we I lost, oh, we should have filmed that. We lost the entire vacuum at the bottom of the pool because the stick came out. So the, va the vacuum was stuck in the bottom of the pool. I had to pull it out. We couldn't even see where it was. It was horrible. We don't have that on camera, but. It was horrible, it was That's, horrible. It was horrible, I suppose. Mimi, why are you letting them out of the- I can't, I'm not. Mm. What's happening? She's not Lift strong it up. enough. Yeah. Watch out, watch out, Grace, watch out. I'm out of here. It's just crazy. I don't want to smell like a swamp. Hey, 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 hey. We don't really understand what happened. We put the vacuum at the bottom of the pool and all of a sudden Grace screamed, I can't move it, I can't move it anymore. <laughs> so I came here, pulled the pole. That's how we got broken. I, I don't really know why it's stuck to the bottom. So I think we should try it again. Maybe we have to put on vacuum. Maybe there's, a, there's another thing there that we have to do. I didn't look into that. Maybe on the machine, there's another thing. Let's see. Winter waste. What does waste mean? Rinse, recirculate, 
What the heck is that? Backwash. Oh, maybe I have to put on backwash. Do I have to put a backwash when we put the vacuum? When we did the vacuum, we left it on filter. Let me call somebody and ask. Merci. Bye. So suggestion is removing the basket in the skimmer and I should not put it on filter. I should put it on backwash. So there was a couple things that we didn't know that now we know we're going to try tomorrow and we'll see where we'll see what happens. Well, you might already know and make fun of me right now. So anyhow, that's our story. That's our day. I was telling Yan, our neighbor, that I found all these leaf and in in all these things in the pool, right? And he was looking at the mountain there and he was like, all of this? <laughs> all of that? <laughs> like, no. But we're going to have problem there too later on. You know that this, too. We're going to have to get this out of here. Wow, well, this, is, this is the most you ever got, Grace. Whoa. Okay, let's see what I get out now. Okay, ready? This is a funny technique, right? Let's see how much comes out now. Whoa. YouTube where like they look for stuff in the river. <laughs> look what I found. Guys, we just found a brand new GoPro and a pair of glasses. <laughs> a gun. We found, we a, found gun. a gun. That might have been used for a crime. <laughs> Whoa, guys. Whoa. Whoa. Guys, huh? That it's all back to black though, really. I don't know how it works. Maybe it'll go back to normal. We don't know. We don't know anything about pool guys. We're really trying hard, seriously. We're really happy you guys are there to support us and be there with us. I talked to somebody earlier to ask us about, I was on the phone, she says, how's your pool? And I never told that person about the pool. So thanks for watching. So that pool is one hell of a job. But one thing at a time, never giving up. We're gonna get through it and we're gonna have epic party pool pool party this summer. The neighbor asked us if we're having a big party pool because they heard about it in the vlog too. Yes, I think there will be. With hot dogs, a lot of people, that's gonna be very fun. All right, let's see what we're gonna fish out this time. This is so exciting, isn't it? What could be at the bottom of our pool? I'm at the bottom, I feel it. <laughs> so stupid. It's in here, what did we get today? Let's see what's coming out. Oh my God, what is it? Oh, it feels heavy. It <laughs> feels heavy, there's nothing in it. <laughs> it's a lot of leaves. It's a lot of leaves. <laughs> oh, that's heavy. Is that good? Yeah. That's it? super satisfying. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I could do this for hours. So if you're feeling stressed out, just go out and do some yard work. I feel so much. It does smell like swamp. I kind of pretend I'm like in Florida and there's like alligators in here. Can you smell swamp? Like it's kind of fun. Yeah, I'm actually pretending like in my head, I'm like, I'm in Florida, like in the deep swamp. And then like I'm doing something and there could be alligators. And that's what I'm doing right now. And you're not scared to get bit? <laughs> no, I'm, that's what's, no, it is kind of scary. That's what's fun about it, you have to pretend. <laughs> Yes, 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 they might bite me. That's what's scary about it. That's what's fun. <laughs> oh gosh, she's so funny. <laughs> Seriously, wouldn't it be funny if I did get something like totally weird? Like a real crocodile? <laughs> I have an idea. See where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. So are you done with the... Hey, babe, can you, can you just move the stuff there where you, uh, you threw something over there? No? Can you move it? Can you move that thing there? Holy crap. What? Look. Oh my god. <laughs> You found a crocodile, babe. Oh my God. Does it make the story more real? Florida, guys. You're in Florida, babe. Look what we found in the pool. Oh my God. <laughs> Grace, your dream. Oh my gosh. Your dreams became reality. How did that end up in there? Do you want to feel reality too? Like, put your hand in there. This, dow, is, dow, dow, dow. this is a real crocodile head. Yeah, I don't know how come we have that. Where'd you buy that? Oh, in California. California. We bought it in California. That's Gab, right. Gab wanted it. Found it cool? in our pool. I wanted to put it in the pool and put it in your net, but I was worried that they would get damaged. How so. amazing is that? All right, so we here at the Packer never stop. We always want to help people realize their dream. Grace has realized her dream today. She was in Florida with crocodile cleaning the swamp. Well. Crocodile came to reality. So. All the bugs. If ready. you guys too have dreams and you want to realize them, just go for it or call us and maybe we can help you. Hey guys. As you can tell, the pool's a disaster, okay? It's all like poopy brown, swaggy swamp thing. So that's not gonna be, it's not gonna be finished for today. That's for sure. But thank you for coming to the vlog. Like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you can see when the pool's gonna be fixed. Because the pool's like horrible right now. It's like actually scary. Also, little note, when I cleaned these out, there was poop in here. And I don't know how that works, but subscribe to the notification. I think I already said that. Okay, bye guys. Am I still filming? I think I'm still filming. 
So yeah, bye.